Were you ever married? Um, that's touchy. Touchy. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was. It was quick, though. He was Cuban. He was beautiful. Um, I probably would still be married to him right now. But the immigration laws were a major factor in why I just was like, I can't, I can't do it. Well, if you got married, then he became a citizen, right? Right, but the way that it's set up is I would have to be fully responsible for him and anything that he did until they were done doing whatever they needed to do screening-wise, and that hmm. could take anywhere from a year to five years where he wouldn't be able to work um, until they approved everything about him. So he can't work, he can't provide, I have to do this, I'm already taking care of my, my family. I can't do that. But we're still very good friends. He's here in the States now, he lives in Miami. <laughs> um, huh, okay. He comes out to visit, you know, it wasn't bad, it wasn't a bad ending, but uh, he was so sweet. I see, but you didn't want to be fully financially financially responsible for another adult, essentially, at that no, point. No, for you to take your time on screening him. Like, I need you to screen him now so we can do what he, you know, he's got jobs lined up, but he can't get payroll because you guys need to do your thing and we got to wait. There was a rumor that you used to date Nate Dogg? Yes, I did. That's true. That is true. Rest in peace, Nate Dogg. Rest in peace, Nate Dogg. He was so dope. He was actually, you know, Trey D is a regular on the show. And uh, I've said that Nate Dogg is my favorite Long Beach artist of all time. More so than Snoop, everybody. Daz, he I don't care. Who else? He the, is, was my favorite. He's the godfather of G-Funk. Um. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you look at the sing-song style of hip-hop today, you have to trace it back to Nate Dogg. Yeah. Nobody was doing gangster singing before Nate Dogg in, <laughs> in hip-hop, period. Yeah, that was a quick dating. A lot of people like to add years onto that. That was not. That was just a few months. Yeah. Um, I met a different Nate Dog than the one that everyone else got to see. I actually met Nathaniel Hale. I didn't meet Nate Dog. Right. Um, I'm not going to totally destroy his image, but this is a man that grew up in a church. Hmm whose mother was the choir leader in the church. Oh, that, that's where the scene came from. And his from. father okay. was the minister. That's mm. who I met. So when people are, are so judgy, yeah, you dated Nate Dogg, I'm like, Psh. anyway, you don't know who I dated. You just know what, you're, what you saw. Nate Dogg had a gangster past. He, we're, you know, we're not, we're not going to deny this. Either. I'm not going to deny <laughs> Nate, that at Nate all. Dogg robbed the Taco Bell after he, he, after he was signed to death row. Yeah. Oh, I didn't this, know This that. is a true story. <laughs> I did not know that. I've, I've, I've confirmed this from multiple people. But, I mean, <laughs> you know, for me, I was in a time at that time where I really liked bad boys. Well, you, got, you just, got one with Nate Dogg. I did, and I got my hand <laughs> spanked, too. Like, you might not want to touch bad boys anymore. Oh, it went bad at one point? Oh, yeah. Drama. Drama. Like what? What happened? Well, I will. I will not tell everything, <laughs> but I will say that apparently he was thinking of marrying me. He okay. never had this discussion with me personally. He never mentioned marriage. He went to Wendy Williams, and this is when she was still on the radio. Mm -hmm. Now, Wendy, at that time, we're good now, but at that time, Wendy always had something negative to say about me, and she had never met me. Mm -hmm. Never like this, but you're talking shit about me. So when Nate goes to do an interview with her, he talks about wanting to marry me. And she went off and called me a bunch of different nasty names and, and said a, a, I had a bad reputation and why would you want to marry a, a girl like that? I'm like, where is she getting all this from? I, mm -hmm. Like, she does not know me. She doesn't know anybody I've dated up until this point, but you got a lot to say. So for somebody that's gangster to hear that the woman that he adores is a whore, he went off. He never told me that that's what happened. I learned after the bad breakup that that is what actually, actually happened. It was because of something that she said. So I had to get to my lawyer and have her send Miss Williams a cease and desist because you are 
definitely character deformation. Like you are fucking me up to the point I could have lost my life because of what she said. So that's being careless. There's, there's entertainment and then there's being careless with how you're entertaining. Mm -hmm. And you know, she had this problem with Whitney. Whitney was coming up there ready to kick her butt. I mean, J-Lo, I mean, like she's attacked pretty much everyone. And then when she got on TV, it's now cleaned up and glorious and how are you doing? It's fine now, but. Yeah, she went harder when she was on the radio. But she was yeah. terrible. And I mean, it's very irresponsible because you're freely talking and not knowing the impact it could have on someone's life later on. Well, I think it was by design. I think she felt like she needed to do things like that in order to keep her ratings on That's the radio. That's fine, yeah. but also no. Yeah, repercussions that you, you, to all that. You could have really messed somebody up because it's something you decided to say that was not true.